how to hide rows based on cell value in Microsoft Excel. Hello everyone, welcome to Excel 10 tutorial. In this advanced Excel tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can hide rows based on cell value in Microsoft Excel. I'm going to talk about two different ways. The first one is the workaround where I'm going to use conditional formatting to format the data in a way that you won't be able to see it. And the second way is the actual way that requires Visual Basic for application or VBA where you will be able to hide rows based on cell value. Let's get started. Take a look at this worksheet here. Here we are going to use conditional formatting to hide rows based on text in cell B3. Okay. So here if we write here USA our Canada data should be hidden okay or this data range should be hidden when we write here Canada it should hide the US data so first we are going to select the USA data and then under the home tab we are going to click on conditional formatting then click on new rule use formula to determine which cell to format then write equal to open parenthesis write cell B3 and we are going to fix it and then write equal to again and then write Canada with the double quotation now close parenthesis so if we have Canada written in cell B3 we want to format this data range and we are going to format it in a way that you won't be able to see the data so we are going to click on format then under the font tab we are going to change the color to white and now click ok click ok again and now let's do the same thing for Canada data select the data range click on conditional formatting click on new rule use formula to determine which cells to format and the formula will be write equal to and open parenthesis and now write cell b3 and i'm going to fix it write equal to usa so if we have usa in cell b3 it should hide this range okay we have to write usa within double quotation now close parenthesis and click on format change the font color to white click ok and ok again now let's write here in cell b3 usa press enter and you can see canada data has been hidden okay if i write here canada you can see our usa data has been hidden if we remove data from cell b3 it will display all the range the problem is that if we hide the USA data there is a gap okay so to work around that we are going to select row 4 and then from the view tab we are going to click on this drop down free span and here I'm going to click it free span the first option now if I write here Canada it will hide the USA data and if we scroll down you can see this part has been frozen so it won't move and we will get our Canada data here now if I scroll down again and write here USA our Canada data has been removed and our USA data doesn't need to scroll up or down because it's placed right where we want it now let's try the second procedure which is the best one I'm going to use VBA for this okay so we have our data here and now we are going to write a code right click on the worksheet name and then click here view code now the code window will open and here we are going to write this code okay here take a look at this here USA and Canada are the text we are going to write okay if we write USA from row 13 to 19 will be hidden because here we have written true but the row 5 to 11 will not be hidden because we have written false if we write there Canada row 13 to 19 will not be hidden okay and row 5 to 11 will be hidden and if we don't write anything or there is an empty cell all the row will be visible we are going to close it and let's try it here if we write here usa and press enter and you can see canada row has been hidden here from row 13 to 19 has been hidden you can check here we have row 12 and then row 20 now if i write here canada our usa data has been hidden because you can see from row 5 to 11 has been hidden and we have only our canada data here okay now if you want to use this technique continuously you will have to save this workbook in .xlsm format so to do that click on file click on save as select a location 
and then from save as type click here and select excel macro enabled workbook and now click on save from now on whenever you open this workbook you will find a macro security pop-up here saying enable macro you will have to click it and once you have done that you can use this worksheet here you will be able to write usa and it will display only usa data you will write canada and that will display only canada data so if you have trouble regarding that macro security pop-up you can check out our macro security video this is what i wanted to show you thank you thanks for watching see you in the next tutorial if you can support the channel through patreon and don't forget to subscribe thank you thanks for watching